hello everybody and welcome back to my channel today i am building a petite uh, north west bungalow style home so it is a one bedroom with bath however there is a loft area on the upstairs um the floor plan is the open floor plan uh it's kind of divided with the peninsula so you're in a like the island so your sim can uh, definitely sit there and eat their like breakfast or their food i did put a little dining table in between the living room and the kitchen uh if you like your sim to eat there or if you want to have it more spacious you can go ahead and delete that that's like that's fine and the upstairs little loft area it does have like a open um ceiling to look down from the loft area however if you want to close it off and make it like a full bedroom you can totally can uh, this build is perfect for like a single sim or somebody else can definitely come in there a uh, child a teen grandparent whichever uh, this build is in Bur Burlington Bay it's in the hidden hidden like land uh, hidden land <laughs> hidden um, place all the way kind of like towards the bridge um, but however, you can place this anywhere. Uh, it's not a specific like build, like seasons or anything. Um, but yeah, so this house originally was supposed to be brown, and I think you do see me messing with the colors a bit. Uh, however, I felt like my builds were starting to get a little too brown, so I just chose. I just like chose like a nice little green color. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different today in terms of color. Um, I still don't like the wallpaper for the outside houses or inside. <laughs> I do struggle a little bit and I think you'll see that in a bit. So yeah, this uh, the, the house has a pretty big room. It's actually pretty spacious for being such a small home. Um, I tried to make it as small as I could. I kind of... Um, I'm trying to do different types of builds and yeah I'm pretty comfortable with the small like small builds right now um, but I am gonna try to push myself and do a lot more bigger builds um, and do a little bit of modern houses so if you guys would like to see something like that go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what kind of houses you like uh, feedback always helps so that I can narrow down my choices um, so yeah, I like the parenthood, um, the little counters from the parenthood pack. Uh, I really like the parenthood pack. I feel like it adds a lot of depth into your game inter with interacting with kids, uh, with like parenting skills and stuff like that. Um, I really like that. I felt like before the kids were kind of just living in your house and like, yeah, they, they were just living there. <laughs> Um, again, you can you can definitely bring a child into this house. Um, it's just gonna be a little tight because <laughs> um, you know the loft and stuff. It's it's not really like a full bedroom. It's it's pretty small loft, and you'll see later on in the pictures how it looks like. Also, if you all want to see more builds, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the little bell uh, for more builds that uh, will be coming out later this week and next week. I'm actually uh, looking at more pictures for like modern houses and like traditional single family homes. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I love bungalows and like tutors and craftsmen the most. Um, but I kind of want to push myself and do something a bit different. So yeah, be on the lookout. I uh, definitely want to try to build a restaurant. So yeah, I, you see me kind of messing with the roof a little. <laughs> I was trying to make it look exactly like the picture. So yeah, and put a little fireplace here. Um, and you'll see later me messing with the color of the outside of the house because I couldn't decide. I really like the green, but then the house that I'm basing this on is brown and I kind of wanted to do like a comparison. I'm still going to do the comparison picture, um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really like this green color with this house. I feel like it goes pretty perfect with this like cute little green house. 
So yeah, I was just adding the finishing touches from the outside. So now we're moving on and I've never used these floors before. They're super shiny, <laughs> but I like them. I like them with this house. I feel like they kind of do a little bit of balance. I tried to, um, I mean the wallpaper for the kitchen is the same, but I was trying to use different things for wallpaper that I haven't really used. I really struggled with this. <laughs> I cut it because there's a lot of like I literally did the same four colors like a million times. I'm really bummed that you can't add the TV on top of the fireplace because that really sucks. You know, you can do it in real life. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put the little TV in the little sitting area here uh, for your sim to have a little bit of warmth during the winter and also be entertained at the same time. Uh, I really like the couches from the pets pack, but I use one of the parentings and one of the pets uh, just to mix it up a little bit. Just kind of to do a little bit of a mixed match. Um, every time I try to build, I try to think of like characters that would live here. And for this one, it was kind of like someone who has like a little bit of a mismatched like furniture and I really tried to do like mix, mix match stuff so yeah and like little quirky like things like that teal shower and like the wallpaper and stuff yeah I don't know I should uh I should try to do like the characters for the um for my builds that I do and then have them uploaded at the same time. It takes me a really long time to do like a character, like more than one character. So I don't know. I always have a hard time doing that. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, yeah. So if you have any suggestions, please, please let me know and I'll go ahead and build it. Uh, I kind of want to do like a collab too. So if like simmers out there would like to do a collab with me where I build a house and you guys furnish it or vice versa. I think that'd be kind of fun. I always wanted to do that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of a decor in the bedroom. Um, I think I go, I actually never seen that lamp before. <laughs> that was like the first time I ever saw that lamp and I thought it was pretty cute. I think I do go like back and forth and try to add different things like I said a little bit of a mix match furniture here um, I originally have that little torn wallpaper there but then I was like I don't know I like my houses to look look a little bit pristine and I don't know why <laughs> it's just the way I am but yeah I kind of wanted to do something like that where it's like you know it's a little bit of rugged house that needs a little bit of work a little bit of love but I just changed it back. <laughs> so yeah. See, like, I did go with the mix match furniture thing, though. Um, yeah, that's the kind of sin that I think will live here. Someone with mix match furniture who's, like, really down to earth. Almost hippie-like. Um, you know, like, loves their plants. You know, loves their dog or cat. You know, any animal, really. But yeah. So yeah, I'm I finally used that clock there. I haven't used that clock at all, actually. I kind of want to build a mansion, but I feel like it'll take me so long because it's so hard to build a really big house for me anyway. So yeah, my, my game is still a little bit glitchy. I think I have to change the settings, but I really love the way it looks on video uh, with it's not even like I said before it's not even like full high settings but for some reason like I don't know my computer just freaks out I think my sim is like really low setting though so I don't know I just I have to keep it on high or high ish because then it looks good while I record you know and like during pictures and stuff but then my computer kind of glitches out and so yeah I don't know I really don't want to like sacrifice it like yeah it's really hot here in california i think today was like almost 100 degrees i know tomorrow it's gonna be like 100 something i'm really ready for like summer to be over like i'm ready for fall like nobody else's business <laughs> like so ready 
So yeah, I've tried to do like I had a hard time decorating this house and like the next house that I built. Um, I just wish the little things were bigger, like the, the you know all the I don't know I don't know how to just the pictures right there while you're choosing. I think they I wish they were bigger so that I can see. I feel like I need new glasses or something. But yeah, there's a little dining area there. Uh, like I said, you can definitely take it out if you want like a flow of just like an open flow area. That's totally fine. You can totally do that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do kind of like a proper like little sitting area for like guests if they want to have guests over. Yeah, I'm just trying to put like little clutter items. I, I do like the downstairs first before I move on to the loft. Um, and by the time I got to the loft, I was a bit tired. <laughs> so it's just a simple like little loft with a couch and a TV and a desk and a computer. It's not like anything special. I think there's like a bookshelf up there. But I really wanted to fill this house with as much clutter as I could. Uh, it does become a bit of ex like an expensive thing, but I love having it look real and having a bunch of clutter there. So I don't know. I feel like it looks lived in when you have clutter versus like a house with nothing in it that's like a stage house, like when you were selling your house in real life. But. Yeah, I just did that little simple, simple little loft there with like some paintings and you can definitely put, make it like into an art room or something. I mean, I should have done that. That would have been cool. <laughs> like a little art room and stuff. But yeah, just putting little like bits and bobs here and there, plants and yeah, I don't know. I jumped around. So much in this build because I will see like something that I would want and then I would put it on like in the other room and stuff like that so, yeah this has a really nice little front deck area uh, so if somebody wants to sit in the front porch and like have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something yeah <laughs> That's that's my idea when I build some houses. I'm like, oh, somebody can definitely sit up here and have a nice little cup of joe and like read a book and like be nosy neighbors or something. Oh, see, like the house is brown there. <laughs> uh, it looks good brown. Don't get me wrong. Like I like the color. I just I did not like it enough where I was like, it doesn't have to match the picture, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, I put that giant tree there um, because in the picture that I was looking at for reference, there is a tree that kind of looks like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put it there. I know it's for like the camping, but it's fine. It looks good. <laughs> like I would love to live in a house full of trees and I know there's a danger of trees falling, but so if you want to download this build it will be up on the gallery under bubbly simi go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the little bell if you want more updates on when i upload more videos go ahead and like this video and if you want to follow me on social media it's a bubbly simi for twitter and bubby simi for instagram thank you all so much for watching have a bubbly day